Welcome again, another video. And today I just want to show you how important it is to save the RC. I, I know, I just talked about that on every single attack. And today I'm just showing you an example. And I'm, I'm, I'm matched against Ryuta from GS previously, who was uh, placed number four in the world championship. However, we can see this base absolutely giving me <clears throat> no value on the on the edges. So I just have to lolo the town hall, uh, sorry, to blizz the town hall, obviously. And he's trying to bait me on the town hall. You can see here, um, he has these giant bombs. But fortunately, my 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 first invis was early enough. But after that, as usual, you can see I, I have to charge my heroes onto uh, towards here and just my RC with here, and we'll have to lolo. But notice what the mistake that I did here. Okay, it's because I didn't get a city pool. So now my 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 queen is just getting hit by that Inferno Tower. And I want her to stay alive so she can grab that Inferno Tower. So notice what I did. Okay, I still have one last invis. All right. Starting the Lalo, okay, with the RC. I still have one more invis. But notice what I do. I, unfortunately, I invised my queen. Why? I wanted her to grab that multi. The right thing to do here was to freeze because I needed that invis for my RC because she's engaging the monolith. And you can see now the monolith locking on my RC. My RC is almost dead. What can I do now? I just had to pop the world's ability even though I didn't want yet. It's 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 a mistake to pop the world's ability here, okay? You have to wait until they get here. But I just had to, to save my RC. Unfortunately, if I just saved that invis, I can tell you 100%. It was a three star, but unfortunately, I just had to pop her and you can see saving my freezes to the back end. It was very important. Here's freeze number one. I'm, I'm just not hasting, waiting, waiting even more. And now I'm hasting. Oh, actually, yeah, now I'm hasting on, on the right side. But the problem is that queen staying alive. If my RC had stayed alive, she would just she would have just got that uh, archer queen. OK, it would have been a three star. But unfortunately, I'm going to fall just short. So that, that that just showed an example about how important it is to save your RC. I don't know what, what the misplay I did here, but unfortunately it's a 98%, but nice try, nice try. All right, now I'm gonna talk about something that I never talked about, and it's actually very important. Okay, the CC has to be six goblins, okay? Two normal wall breakers, and four super wizards okay that's that's your cc composition so it's the first invis placement is very important so you can see here i'm starting i okay i i decided what approach should i go for and again yeah that that's that's true i can't go with my um with my blimp towards the town hall. okay maybe if i land here but i don't know i'm just i was just afraid of the poison towers so i said okay landing Next to the town hall right here will get me a lot of value and then I can sneak my heroes to grab that town hall. And that, that was the plan, okay? Even though it didn't work. But watch now, okay? What do I want here? If I just land and don't use the wall breakers, I will grab that expo, I will grab that scatter shot, and that's it. But I want to get that multi as well. So when you want to use the wall breakers, when you want to, to go for a further value, Okay, you have to invis early on. Well, okay, watch now. I'm gonna land and my sneakers are coming out. I'm invising already. Before my world breakers are coming, I'm raging them. You can see they are raged up. First one and second one. Perfect. Now my wizards can grab that multi. Okay, it's very important. When you want your wall breakers to wall break something, you have to invis early on. Like as soon as the, the blimp um, just pops. Okay, but... On other cases, if you let your wall breakers wall break, <laughs> they're just gonna cause a lot of problems. I noticed my my last invis placement. I uh, I placed it like that so I can grab that uh, that warden altar and then they can just get my RC. Even though just one of them survived, that just did the trick. Okay, my trick here was was successful. But after that, unfortunately, I didn't manage to do it because. I don't know, I, I couldn't save my queen, unfortunately. I mean, I tried, but um, I don't know what happened exactly. Like, okay, everything is looking fine so far, but um, okay, I started my RC here as well, so I can, uh, so the wall breaker can target on here. Yeah, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't, I wasn't watching 
that the inv uh, that the single uh, targeting on my Archer Queen and unfortunately popped her ability. So with the ability popped, you just can't get the Town Hall. Okay, you just stop stop uh, wasting your your your, uh, your spells just like I did. Unfortunately, that, that was a mistake here. So what I did, okay, I tried to play smart like stars. You can see this delayed group of loons. So the first group of loons is gonna grab these uh, defenses and then this delay should go towards the town hall and actually that was successful somewhat successful not really successful so you can see this first first group I'm hasting them so I can just force these towards town hall 100% and there is no invis, invis tower next to the town hall so it should be easy okay now I, I wanted to play greedy a little bit and save that uh, free spell so I can just have some hope on tripling this space so I said okay this should be enough balloons but the town hall is not going down, unfortunately. So if, if the town hall went down, it would... Okay, I'm already <laughs> I'm already investing that freeze right there. If I just invested it early on, it would have been a three star. But you can see, guys, even if when my queen died, I still got the three star. Like, obviously got the three star. You can see it's, it's a three star. It should be a three star if I just, just placed my freeze spell a little bit earlier. But don't worry, I'm not getting the one star, okay? Okay, I get one stars, but <laughs> not too much. Maybe it it would have been a time fail anyway, but okay, it, it was a nice try. Okay, I'm just talking about the approach and I'm just showing you the approach and how important it is to place your invises uh, in different times. I will show you now a different timing. All right, this is a an attack from Clanmore League. You can see it's number one already, so it's a pretty much maxed out base. Um, okay, now is a timing where you don't want your wall breakers to work. Why? You can see first, my landing is already onto the town hall. If I now, if I now invis and make the town hall obvious, so they grab the town hall, they are gonna die to the Giga Bomb imme imme immediately, okay? So what I did now, you can see, I made the town hall invisible. But more importantly, I just delayed my, my invis until the wall breakers went out and died why i don't want them to wall break guys just know that even if you even if they're not raged up they might wall break the, the wall okay they, they are crazy sometimes even though they're just too trust me so when you don't want well, when you don't want them to wall break you have to wait until everything comes out except for the wizards then you have to go with your invis all right but when you want them to wall break you have to invis early on so notice what i did i raged up one more invis on the town hall. Don't worry. Okay, guys. If I had opened this one, they might have just been goofy ones as they always do and they just go out and ditch the town hall and just cause problems just as usual because they like to go away from targets. So, very good thing here. I grabbed the town hall indeed and after that, it should it should be an easy approach but the mistake I did here is, just, is I didn't watch my queen. I should have frozen the archer tower or something but you can see the ability is already going and the freeze was late. So I just had to work with whatever I have. And after that, unfortunately, the queen is stepping towards the scatter shot range and she's, she's dying, okay? So at this point, how do I recover? The queen is dead. I just, I'm just gonna try to force my barbarian king inside. But after that, you can see it's not gonna be an easy lalo. Why? You have one, two multis. You have, you are gonna... You are forced to lalo towards this um, uh, po uh, this scatter shot, this poison tower. This it's not easy. It's not easy, and of course you have the sweeper here. So what I did here, just trying to save it, is I sent the RC. All right, why send the RC with um, with with the headhunter to grab that RC, the enemy RC? Why? Because first off, the king is tanking. I can use the tanking of the barbarian king, and that's gonna be. Very good for my RC, and at the same time, she's gonna she's gonna be saved. She's gonna be safe for a little bit, and at the same time, I'm gonna start the Lalo early on. Why? Notice what this will do. It's, this is actually like very smart. All right, the Lalo is gonna work early on, so the Lalo can grab these, which will force the enemy RC to get the first multi, and then jump onto the second multi. Other than that, it's impossible to Lalo through the core so guys always remember the core is it's it's very it's very hard and more importantly if you watch the tournament you're gonna know that the core is always stacked with 
red air mines. Red air mines will just kill all of your loons. So you try to force your RC towards that. That is always the, the better case. You can see I'm starting the Lalo early on. I'm not going to be very fast with my uh, warden, warden visibility. So you can see I'm freezing first, sending my... Uh, my headhunters, my lava, and now I'm popping the, the warden's ability. And exactly, that's what happened. The enemy, uh, sorry, my RC grabbed the first multi, and my Lalo was early enough, so my, the, uh, the the RC is going after the second multi as well. And now I want to save my RC. What am I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna invis her exactly, and I still have one more freeze in the bag. Even my queen died, but you can see that RC coming in clutch. It's just how important to save your RC. And how important exactly, to, as I showed you here, to to just place the invis the invisibility spell perfectly. Okay, so as I told you, um, every base has different approach. So it, with time, with practice, everything will will just get easier. And that's it for today.